It's Monday morning and the news spread really fast that Vanessa had a baby boy, Michael Thomas Roberts, weighed 7 pounds, 11 ounces. And of course, the news was floating everywhere as Cindy and Harrison and Jolie came into the office. Michael announced the news. Yep, Vanessa just had a baby. Yeah, I heard the good news too, said Cindy. Oh, that's so great. So it's going to be a couple weeks till we see Vanessa. Well, why not? Let's go see Vanessa at the hospital. Well, she'll be discharged from the hospital today. So let's just wait and see. And we'll get her on Zoom once she's situated. Oh, that's great. So I bet Michael's all excited too. Yeah, he's out of the office too. Aw, that's so great. I was going to announce a business coach to come in this week, but I guess I'm going to have my plan on hold until Vanessa gets back. What do you mean we're going to have a business coach? Yeah. I was planning on doing this, but now that this news came, I'm going to put this off on hold. Uh, we should celebrate. What do we what do we do? Well, it's going to be tough having not Vanessa here, but in the meantime, I don't know. Maybe we should call Vanessa. She's at the hospital though. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I miss her already. I'm sure she's busy already. Well, let's give her a call anyway. Cox Medical Hospital. Yes, can I see if we can speak to a patient in the maternity ward, Vanessa Roberts? Yes, hold on one second. I don't know what room she's in. Oh, I just missed that. Okay, she's, I'll transfer her to She's in room 309. My wife was in 309. Hi, Vanessa. This is Michael Smithton. Congratulations. Hi, Michael. How are you? Did you hear the good news? Yep, I heard the good news. That's why I'm calling. Uh, you hear about Michael Thomas? Uh, that's such good news, Vanessa. Is Michael there? Yeah, Michael's there. Uh, so you're getting discharged today? Yes, getting discharged here in about an hour. Oh, great. The whole office is here. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Uh, everybody says hi, Vanessa. So how do you feel? I feel very good. So you're getting discharged in an hour? Yeah, says Michael. Oh, wow. I'm so happy for you. So what are your plans when you get home? I'll just settle in. You know, I'll be out for six weeks. So can you do Zoom calls while you're at home? Yeah, I can do Zoom calls, but I'll be pretty preoccupied with the baby. Well, the baby will sleep for a while. So as long as you get the rest you need and you can recuperate, that's the most important. How do you feel overall? I feel great. I feel very good. How was labor? Labor was pretty long, I have to admit. Well, it was about time you were due at the end of February, so it worked out perfect. Yeah, it did. It worked out just fine. How was Michael in the labor delivery room? Oh, he was good. He did fine. That's great. Can you get Michael on the phone? Yeah. Hey, Michael. This is Michael Smithton. Congratulations, you're a father. Yeah, I am. This is great. Oh, it's so good to hear both of you doing good. Listen, we're not going to keep you on the phone because we know you're going to get discharged here in an hour. So we just want to send our congratulations. Um, get Vanessa on the phone real quick, Michael. Okay, I will. Thank you for the good thoughts and warm thoughts to all of from all of you. Yeah, no problem, said Michael. 
Vanessa, as soon as you have the energy and the time, Zoom us and we'll be online and we'll love to hear from you. Okay, sounds good. Have a great rest of your day, okay, Vanessa? Okay, good to hear from all of you. As they hang up on the phone with Vanessa, it's just such a awesome feeling. Oh, isn't this awesome? She has a baby boy. Yeah, wow. She's a mom. Who would ever think Vanessa would be a mom, said Cindy. Hey, Cindy, you're next in line. So just easy does it there. No, not quite yet. I have to get married still. Yeah, you do have a promise ring, said Harrison. Wow. You know what, what we'll do is that we'll catch Vanessa up to speed. We'll still have the business coach come in. He's supposed to come in today. That was the game plan. What is he going to do? He's just going to coach us on some aspects of principles of business and just motivational stuff. Keep us going as far as like when we're having down times. It's just to keep us on, keep us going. Whenever things slow down, like this time of year, it slows down. Keep us motivated. Um, I, I'm not quite sure, to be quite honest. It's just a business coach. I'm going to try it and see how it works. Um, I wish I had the best answer for it, but I just decided to have this business coach come in and do a motivational speech. So we'll see. When is he coming in? He's coming in in the next two hours. Okay. All right. So let's do the report that we were going to normally do and then find out what the weekend was like. And then since Vanessa's not doing it, I'm just going to have Jolie or Cindy do it since Harrison does the Thursday reports. Who wants to do the report? Jolie, do you want to do the reports while Vanessa's out? Or Cindy? I think Jolie should do it. Jolie, you're going to take charge of Vanessa's reports. Okay. Sounds good. Cindy, you can just handle the training in the no, let me take that back. I want Jolie to handle the daycare issues. And then Cindy, you handle the reports. How's that? Because what's going on in daycare is pertinent. And Jolie knows what goes on in daycare. Does that work for you? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, that works for me. Because obviously we just want to keep a track of what goes on in daycare. Okay, Cindy, you're going to handle the reports that usually Vanessa would handle. Okay, this is the first for me, so I don't know if I'm doing this right, but our weekend was really good, but it wasn't perfect. So, okay, so it was, how do we look at the numbers? Well, I didn't do the yearly report, so I don't know what the yearly report would look like. So, okay, that's where Vanessa would have come in. So we'll just talk to Vanessa whenever she has free time. But we did do good this week. We did better than usual. Okay, so that'll be our report for now. All right, Harrison, you're preparing for Thursday's report. So while we're waiting, and we'll take a break. Um, basically, we'll wait for this guy to come in. His name is Jim Harrison. And he's doing the business coaching. He'll just do a small speech about some of the things that businesses run into during their slow periods. He usually helps business save a lot of money and cost. And he comes in and he helps businesses that are struggling or sometimes they're not struggling. He just helps businesses and he coaches different team members that are running into different issues or 
helps motivate them and different things. So we'll hear what he has to say. Okay. So take a break and we'll be back, be back here in, let's see, it's 930. Be back here in before 11. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So while they're all taking a break, they're getting ready for the report for this business coach. So they go to the break room and they kind of finish doing their work for the rest of the day. Jim Harrison comes in about 1030 to meet with Mike. Hi, Jim Harrison. It's nice to meet you. Have a seat. The rest of the team is taking a break before they meet with you. Is there some things that you can go over? Well, I can go over some things with you right now. Maybe help guide you through it. I can take you to an online course that I might help you. Let me get you to the... Let me see. I'm going to look it up. <coughs> it's that time of year. Yeah, it is. It's called Business Coach for Entrepreneurs. It's like small business problems for big problems. And it's, our, it's like our team resolves business problems so you can focus on building a segment market and information to get valuable, how to engage workforce development, economic development. But there's a lot of things you can look up online. What What is a business coach for entrepreneurs? Um, there's a lot of things here. What What is the definition of a business coach? Entrepreneur coaching is a support service where business coaches aspiring for business coaching is discover their strength in areas and opportunities, motivation, and goals. These coaches are help clients identify actions to help build a viable business. So these are things that you can find online to help identify your goals and plans that you have in mind. How does that impact the team? It's the same thing. It'll apply the same way. So like if I'm working with you individually, this would be a support service where I would be as a coach helping you aspire to discover your strengths and areas and opportunities, motivations, and goals. So I would work individually on goals, things that I just described. Okay, so how would you describe this to the individual? The same way I'm describing it to you. Okay, in comes Harrison and in comes Cindy and in comes Jolie. Okay, so why don't you just describe it to them the same way you described it to me instead of doing a speech because it's a lot easier to describe it online. Okay, so they have resources they can go to. Okay, sounds good. So Jim Harrison goes over what business coaching is and what resources he can do to help them online so they can do their homework and study. And he helps them understand what business coaching is and how he can help them with their goals and motivation and help their business become more viable. And they all are really inside in more insightful on the topics of business coaching and how it can help their business and incentives and all the things that they are looking for in a more productive environment. As Jim Harrison wraps up his visit, he helps them with online resources. And he ends the conversation with Michael Smith did. Well, Michael Smith, and I hope I help with the resources. Oh, definitely. This has been very helpful. I mean, it definitely is something I'd like to consider more. And if you have more time, 
we just had some really, we had, we were going to cancel the appointment because we had one of our team members just had a baby and it just kind of was the last minute thing that this all happened, but we're glad that you came in. I'm sorry about the disruption in the plans, but I just wanted you to go over some basic rules of what we should look forward to in the future. Well, if you want to make an appointment with me, just call me, okay? Sounds good. Thank you, Jim Harrison, for coming in. Yes, thank you, said Cindy. And Julie appreciates your time, too, as Julie had to walk out to work on a daycare center issue. And Harrison said, thank you very much. It was great to meet you, Jim Harrison. Thank you again. And as Jim Harrison exited, Michael said, well, listen, I don't mean to cut this meeting short, but I have to go. I have things that go going on at home. Besides, I'm starting to get that head cold back. So I'll be out till Thursday. All right. See you later, Michael. You all have a great day, okay? All right, I'm going to be heading out the door. As Michael exits the door, he says goodbye to Carol Henderson. Carol Henderson waves. It's been nice seeing you guys. It's nice seeing you too. Okay, have a great day. Michael goes to his car and leaves. He heads home and he sees that everybody is still at school. He sees Grace, and he gives Grace a big hug. It's so nice to see you, baby. Oh, it's so nice to see you, too. It's been a long day. Oh, really? Yeah. Guess who had a baby? Oh, no kidding. Vanessa had her baby. Yep. She had a seven pounds, I think seven pounds, eight ounces, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah, she just got discharged from the hospital. I'm starting to get my head cold back, though. Oh, geez. Again? Yeah. I guess you're going to have to deal with that, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to take cold and flu medicine. So how's everything here at home? Well, I have to go pick up the kids from school. Can you stay back while the other kids are coming home? Yeah, I will. So Michael's wife, Grace, leaves for the day to pick up the kids and Michael stays back as Bailey, Jenny, and Elijah come home from school. And Grace goes to get Michael, Elijah, and the other kids. She comes home with the kids. They are so excited to be home. Oh, wow. I'm so glad that the kids are home from school. <coughs> <coughs> Your cold doesn't sound that good. No, it's starting to get worse. Maybe I should lay down. Okay. As the kids are getting their homework done, Michael goes down to lay down and rest. I'm sorry, Grace. I didn't realize my cold was starting to get worse. You always get sick this time of year. Yeah, it seems like it. That's like clockwork. Well, at least I have a couple days off of work. I'll just take some cold and flu medicine and go to bed. Okay, Grace. I'll talk to you later. As they get ready for dinner and finish up their homework, the kids are very excited about at least relaxing and having dinner. Miss Yokoshoda comes upstairs and helps with dinner. Oh, thank God we have nannies to help out, said Grace to Mrs. Yokoshoda. Oh, I know. It's so good to have nannies. Especially when Michael's sick. As they prepare a meal, they have tater tots and hot dogs for dinner. It's a real small meal, but at least they have something to eat and relax a little bit. As they wrap up the dinner and they wrap up everything for the night. It's a short night, but they get everything done that they need to get done. And they bathe the kids and get ready for bed. It's a short night, but... They get to bed at a decent hour. As everybody gets to sleep, it's a quiet, peaceful night, and they get to sleep peacefully that night. Michael still sleeps through the night.